Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for our Thursday card. So our whole trajectory this week is about wands, which is about feeling in, you know, fiery and energetic and confident and inspired. And even our major arcana card on Tuesday was the sun, which is also about fire, right? Feeling energized and happy. The only exception to that is today's card, and that is the five of cups reversed. So cups are connected to the heart. They're about feelings and connections and following your emotional intuition. When this card shows up, um, it's, it's about a conflict of the heart. Five is the number for conflict. And so this man you can see is looking very sad. He's glancing back at this castle. We have the feeling this may be his home. and he's, he's left his home behind. So the number, the conflict card, which is five, there's always a, it's always a crisis card. And the question has to be answered whether you're going to move forward past the crisis into something new or whether the crisis is going to foil you and make you turn back. And you can see it actually in this card, we've got three cups that have been turned over, which implies loss and a feeling of sadness. But also behind this guy are two upright cups, which suggests hidden blessing. So in every conflict, there's a possibility of, um, you know, getting stuck and feeling sorry for yourself and being caught up in the drama of that or broadening your vision enough to see the, the hidden blessings that are here in the situation. Right now, he's focusing on this. Um, this loss, if he would turn around, he would see the blessing. So that's always there in every conflict. Both options are available. Now, the reversal of the card suggests to me that this experience of heartbreak and loss is already past. In other words, we've already finished it, um, but we might keep feeling drawn back to it. It's almost like we have unfinished business with this old heartbreak. So it could very well be that you do have unfinished business, like you have not processed the grief enough, or you're still holding on to expectations, or you're, or you're bitter about something that happened. I mean, all of those things keep you stuck in a story, okay? So you want to look at where you might be stuck. But another possibility is your mind is using the old story to draw you out of the energy of this week. And the energy is passion, energy, and, and um, confidence, all the wands. So it could be that you got some momentum happening in your passion and your mind's trying to slow you up with this. Remember that story when, oh, your heart was broken. And well, like, let's think about that personal. Think about what happened to me. And, you know, like it's trying to tamp down your energy. So today, you might choose one of two strategies. One is either figure out what is stuck in this story and clear it, or don't fall. If there's nothing stuck in the story, don't fall for it. It is a trick to make you refocus your energy from taking action, moving forward, um, into feeling sorry for yourself. So you can figure out which way that applies to you this week. And I'll see you tomorrow for our final card. Bye.